Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about these um, ETS 30 round magazines. Are there any good? Uh, the answer is no, they're not. Um, you know, I mean, obviously I got a bunch of them over there. I got many more. Uh, they're a fun novelty, um, but uh, two problems with them. Number one, they're extremely hard to load. Um, you know, once you get past this halfway point over here, um, it, you know, it takes a lot of effort to load these. Uh, in the time that it takes me to load one of these magazines, I can load like three of these uh, 17 round magazines, okay? Uh, so they're really slow to load, but um, what also happens is that the, you got that long spring in there, right? And what tends to happen is just because it's so long, uh, it tends to snake back and forth a little bit, uh, and it kind of gets tangled up uh, with itself. So um, sometimes, it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes um, as you're shooting and that, that, that follower is pushing up, at some point the, the spring will get bound up and it's just no longer going to be pushing up. It's not going to be feeding. And then what happens is if you if you hold it like this, the bullets will just kind of drop out um, because there's no upward pressure. Now, if usually if you take it and you tap it, you'll you'll shake it loose and it'll start working again. Uh, but it's not reliable. Okay. Um, like I said, it's a fun novelty. Now, don't confuse this with the um, with the 17 round magazines. Okay. Uh, these, you know, even though it's the same exact magazine, right? The only difference is this is 17 rounds. Well, this one's 30 rounds. These ETS 17 round magazines are extremely reliable. Okay, they're basically I use these exclusively. I don't use any other magazines now. Um, you know, I got a whole, you know, a whole box over here full of these. Um, these are the ones that I use. Uh, they're a big convenience for me that you know I can look through it uh, and easily see how many rounds I have in there. You know, especially as I'm traveling around training people. You know, sometimes I'll tell people put three rounds in there or five or eight. Um, and, and they can quickly look at it and they can see how many rounds that they have in there without having to ask me, right? Because if you have the little little holes in the back, like on the on the KCIs and the Glocks, I mean, a lot of times people can't really tell. So I've got people coming to me to count the rounds for them. Whereas with this, they can easily see it. Uh, it's a major time saver for me. Um, so that's why I love these um, ETS magazines, okay? But uh, the 30 rounds magazines, not reliable. They, they kind of get bound up. You know, the spring gets bound up now question becomes why do the AR magazines right which are about the same length um, how come these are so reliable whereas these are not uh, I, I can only guess because the, the the spring is longer all right it's about I don't know about two fingers long versus this spring is one finger long so this one basically tends to squiggle back and forth whereas this one because it's it's longer inside the magazine um, it it, it it, it's less prone to doing that. That's the only reason I can think of because they are pretty much the same length. Um, you know, the spring looks like it's about the same thickness. You know, so you know I, I really don't know the answer to that. I can only guess. Uh, but the, these thirty round or ma thirty round magazines for the ETS. Um, you know, other than buying this for a novelty of having it, um, and like I said, I, obviously I got a bunch of them. Um, yeah, I, I, these I do not consider reliable, but. Again, don't confuse it with the uh, with the 17 rounders, All right? You, you can see how dirty these are because these get a lot of use. Okay, um, I use these exclusively. These are great magazines. Uh, only thing, uh, and I did a you know I did a prior video on this. You be aware that the feed lips, right? Because they're because they're plastic, uh, they are consumable. Okay, um, the original Glock magazines and the uh, and the KCI magazines they got the steel feed lips. And what happens is if you're shooting them in a gun like this um, Palmetto PX9, it does not have a last round bolt hold open, right? So what that means is after the last round fires, the bolt goes across the top and it rubs against the, the feed lips and it shaves it down, right? You can see how that's a little worn over there, right? I did a, a prior video on this. Um, uh, if you guys want to, you can search it. It's uh, look up uh, ETS versus KCI magazines. Um, and you'll, you'll see, you know, I talk about how these feed lips um, get get chewed up if you're shooting them in the Palmetto PX9, specifically because it doesn't have a last round bolt hold open. But if you're shooting them in your, um, if you're shooting it in your uh, your Glock 17 or your P80, you know, because this is gonna lock open on that last round, uh, the slide is never gonna run across the feed lips and wear them down. So if you're shooting them in the 
you know, in, in, a, in a gun that has that last round bolt hold open, the magazines will last a lot longer. If you're not, you know, they're gonna they're gonna get you know worn down over time. Which hey, I mean, they're, they're whatever, thirteen dollar magazines, not a big deal. I usually I get these at Botox.com. I find that they got the the best price on these uh, ETS magazines. All right, so they're about like I said, they're something like thirteen dollars. Uh, I get tons of them from them. Um, but uh, yeah, the thing I want to discuss with you guys is, you know, other than the novelty, don't get the thirty round magazines. Uh, do get do get the 17 round magazines. They're very good. It's very convenient to be able to see what you got in there. Um, so uh, yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.